Hello everyone, it's PC Alpha here. In this video, I'll be talking about how to set up your NVIDIA control panel for best settings if you're a gamer. And I'll be also showing you how to set up NVIDIA GeForce Experience and what are the uses of this NVIDIA GeForce Experience software. So before starting, I would like to focus on something important. That is, I've already made a video on how to do advanced setup of Razer Cortex Game Booster, which is a really good game booster and helps user in increasing FPS and reduce lag of a game. So I am assuming that if you're watching this video, then you are most probably a gamer. Then please do watch this video. In this video, I've shown you how to download this game booster and how to do its advanced setup. It will surely help you in reducing lag and increasing FPS of your gaming. So now without any further ado, let's get started with this video. Just right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel. If you're not having this option, then in some rare cases, NVIDIA control panel is not downloaded by default. And if you, this is the case with you, just go to your Windows Store and search for NVIDIA Control Panel and get it from here for free. So once you have downloaded it, now just right click on your PC desktop and go to NVIDIA Control Panel. I've already opened it in the background and here go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview. Here use the Advanced 3D Image Settings because we don't want the application to decide our graphic settings. Neither we, don't, neither we want to prefer or on emphasizing on quality or performance. We just want to change every setting one by one. So now let's come to manage 3D settings. In manage 3D settings, a really important part is if you have recently down installed or downloaded a game, you have to select that game in program settings. Go to program settings in manage 3D settings and add that game's executable file. Executable file is the .exe file. You can find that file in the directory of your game. So for example, GTA 5 dot exe is here. So if, you're, if you want to play GTA 5, you have recently installed this game on your PC. Just select its games directory and go to gta5.exe, select that file, .executable file and add it to this program settings. And here the important part is, by default it is on use global settings, auto select NVIDIA GPU, but here select high performance NVIDIA processor. Because some games by default do not use your NVIDIA processor for gaming by default. But sometimes they use your integrated graphics card if you are having multiple graphic cards integrated and dedicated. And if, you're, if your game is using your integrated graphic cards, it will surely degrade your gaming performance. So it is a really important part. If you have recently downloaded or installed a game, make sure you do this step. And once you have done it, let's go back to global settings because it is a really important part. And now we'll be making changes to our global settings. Now let's discuss these settings one by one. First one is image sharpening. So NVIDIA describes it as it helps in improving your graphics. It won't put any much load on your PC, but it will improve graphics. But that's not the truth. The truth is it won't make a significant difference in your graphic quality, but it will put a really high load on your GPU. So it will lead to degrade degradation of your gaming performance. So just keep it off. Same goes for ambient occlusion. Keep it off and isotropic filtering. Now it is an important part because if you have a high-end GPU like GTX 1080 Ti or RTX 2080, I would recommend you to keep it on 16x or 8x. But if you just have a mediocre G GPU like MX 150, like in the PC I'm using for recording is having only GeForce MX 150. So I'll recommend you to keep it application controlled and change these settings according to your game. For example, if you're using, uh, if you're playing a really high-end game on a mediocre GPU, just keep it off. For example, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 edition. But if you are playing a game like GTA 5 or Max Payne 3, you can keep your anisotropic filtering level to 2x, 4x or maybe 8x2 in Max Payne 3. So it depends on game to game if you have a mediocre GPU. But if you have a high-end GPU, just keep it to 8x or 16x. You will see a significant dis difference in your graphic quality. FXAA, keep it off. Mode should be application control. Transparency should be off. Now come to CUDA GPUs. CUDA GPUs turn it to all. All is that if you have multiple GPUs, select multiple GPUs. I have GeForce MX150, so just select GeForce MX150 or the graphic card you are having. Now max frame rate. Max frame rate, keep it off. Multi frame rate sampling. Now again important part, if you have a high end GPU, turn it on. But I don't have a high end GPU like GTX or RTX edition of Nvidia. I have MX150, I'll keep it off. But if you, have a, if you are a high-end user, just keep it on. It is a really nice setting. And OpenGL, OpenGL rendering GPU, select your graphic card. Now, it is an important step because, for example, I use Filmora Video Editor for editing my stuff. So if I turn it on, now whenever there is a process in my PC that requires rendering, 
it will use graphic card my dedicated graphic card instead of my integrated graphic card so it is a really important step to just turn it on to a geforce mx150 or whichever graphic card you are having now let's come to power management mode now by default it is on optimal power but i've seen a lot of youtubers recommending you to prefer maximum performance but I totally disagree because the way that they describe prefer maximum performance is just not at all true. They define it in a way that it will help you in putting your PC's maximum RAM and running a particular game or it will just boost your gaming performance. But that's not true at all. The truth is, if you prefer maximum performance it will, in global settings, then it will just overclock your GPU at every instance whenever you're running any software, you are running any app. So it is not recommended because even if you're running a notepad, it will use your PC's maximum performance. It will overclock your GPU, it will heat up your battery, it will heat up your system and that's really not good because it will degrade your battery life. It will also heat up your PC which is not good for your graphic card too. So I prefer optimal power because it distributes your GPU's RAM in way better way. For example, if you're running a game, it will use maximum power of your GPU. But if you are using a notepad or a really, a really small software, it won't use that much of power of your GPU. But if you are having trouble playing a game and you are not able to play that game in high settings or you are not able to play that game in high performance, then what I will recommend you is just go to program settings, add that game and change the power management mode to my prefer maximum performance for that particular game. For example, I have done it for GTA5.exe. Don't change prefer maximum performance in global settings just change it for that particular game but not in global settings in global settings keep it to optimal power now let's move down to shader cache shader cache keep it on it will help you in just improving performance of your gaming overall gaming it is a nice feature of this nvidia control panel so keep it on now texture filtering keep it off negative lod bias keep it on allow if you are having a graphic card like MX150, mediocre graphic card, but if you have a high-end graphic card, I would recommend keeping it on clamp. But it is like it is more like a hit and trial method. For some GPUs and for some games, you would prefer allow, but for some games or some GPUs, you would prefer clamp. So if you have installed a new game, first try running it on allow mode, then try running it on clamp mode and if you see a significant difference on any particular settings just keep that setting and pl keep playing that game on that setting so it is just a hidden trial method so texture filtering keep it on quality because the other options are like high performance high battery life it makes the things complicated just keep it on quality and it will depend on a particular game whichever you are running the texture filtering will be according to that game it is a lot more simpler than just changing its settings now texture filtering try linear optimization keep it off query optimization change it to auto triple buffering off and vertical sync use 3d application settings because it synchronize your pc's refresh rate with your game's refresh rate but if you turn it on for all games what it will do is even if your game runs on 50 hertz but your pc runs on 60 hertz it will try to synchronize it which will lead to lag so i won't recommend turning it on for all games just use the 3d application settings that is whichever game you are, you are running it will use its setting and it is way better than having lags because of turning it on turning it on for all games now that's all for these settings i would recommend you to apply these settings and once you have done so now let's move to geforce experience if you don't have nvidia geforce experience installed in your pc it is really simple to install it just write on google download nvidia geforce experience go to this first link by nvidia.com and click on download now the downloading will be started once you click here installation is really simple so there is no point of showing you how to do so once you have installed and downloaded nvidia geforce experience just open it and this screen will pop up this is the home screen you will get a list of all the games present in your pc but if you're not getting this list all you have to do is right click on these three dots and scan for games it will scan for games really quick and the benefit of this software is for example i'm i want to change setting for the game nb2k20 i'm getting an option for reward because it has already optimized my game but if i'm using the game uh, need for speed payback I have the option to optimize it if once i click on optimize settings what it will do is it has all the information about my gpu it has all the information about the game now it will try to run the game in maximum performance and keeping the frame rates 
really high too. So these using the software, you can use the optimal settings for a particular game. So I've changed it to optimal settings for the game NBA 2K20. As you can see, there's a tech using optimal settings. And here are the settings what this software is using and recommending for this particular game. So it is a really nice software. But if you want to optimize all of your games in just one click, click on these three dots again and optimize all games. It will optimize all your games in single click. Try running your games and you will see a significant difference. Now the best part about this GeForce Experience software is not that they, it optimizes a single game or all the games in one click. The best part is its driver update comes with every big game release. For example, a big game like Call of Duty is coming. As soon as the game is released, on the same day you will get GeForce game ready drivers for that particular game for using optimal settings for that particular game you will get a driver update here for example i got a recent update on 15 april and i have not downloaded it and i'm sure that once i have downloaded it soon i'll get another update within a week so the driver updates are really fast and really helps in improving gaming performance so that's all for geforce experience there here's i have shown you how you can use your nvidia geforce experience there was not much to show in here so thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. And also if you have any doubt, write in the comment section. If you want me to make video on any particular topic, then also you can write. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.